Hi, I'm Pete Canalicchio and walk, welcome to the Brand Licensing Pre-Launch. You may recall in video number six, Hugh Simpson and I talk about grooming perennial champions. Well, now that you've had your contract signed, you're really ready to get started and you want to make sure that the success starts um, off on a great foot and continues year after year. In order to do that, the first part, the most important part, is getting proper orientation. Now, I always talk about that orientation starting when you first meet the prospective licensee, or in this case, if you're the manufacturer, the prospective licensor, but it really comes down to a, a full-blown orientation session that should take place right after the contract is signed. Usually, this takes place um, at the manufacturer's facilities because then the, um, the brand owner can actually see what's going on by the manufacturer and get a full sense of um, exactly how they go to market with their product. So who should be attending that meeting? Well, it's everyone from the brand owner's side that's going to be interacting with the manufacturer. So that can include the business unit, the marketing department, um, the licensing department, but it also can be research and development and potentially even operations or sales if they're going to be involved. From the manufacturer side, we're looking at product development, we're looking at the marketing folks, the sales folks, and really the whole leadership team because if this is a big brand and this is a, a relatively um, mid-sized company or even a smaller company, then this is going to be a, an important um, strategic component of their long-term growth. So you want to make sure that everyone in that manufacturing um, group understands the obligations and requirements of the contract. So once they're together, then you can talk about things like contract terms and business implications, specifically how the brand should be treated and what the category strategy will be, what brand guidelines are required and how do they get approved. And remember we talked a little bit about the approval process before. And so that's the next piece. How many stages of approval are, they, are there? What are the timelines for required uh, approvals? Finally, what's going on as it relates to testing of that product once it's approved and any auditing provisions that are allowed by the brand owner to make sure that the manufacturer is doing things correctly. So this is the first step, getting the orientation right. I look forward to coming back to you and talking about business planning.